talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Folks, today is Monday, April the 23rd, I believe. We are in the canoe with the trolling motor. We are fishing the fall line of a small Missouri stream. And our main focus today is migrating white bass that come out of the Mississippi River. It is a 80 degree day. At times there's no wind at all and then all of a sudden there's 20 mile an hour wind gusts so that's the one thing we do not have on our side right now it's not blowing but any minute now there'll be a gust just out of the blue when you think that it's done and then it just comes out of nowhere and it Sometimes it's gonna make us have to anchor. We'll have no choice, but we're not letting it get us down. We are gonna catch some big white bass today. We're talking about the big females that are two to three pounds. We're right above the fall line right now. This section of the stream is normal. It's still got the swift current. It's very shallow. As soon as we get about a quarter mile up river, it doubles in size because of the two forks of this stream meeting together at the junction there gets very large and it's about at the fall line it starts being about six foot above normal pool because of the Mississippi pushing it back and that's where those white bass start congregating they're not up to this far but before you know it we're already going to be on them here in about a quarter mile so we're going to have to this is going to be the hard part getting back really hard I'm going to have to walk it through here because it's too swift a motor there's really no more current after this hole, I don't think. Okay, folks, we're finally at the, what I call the start of the fall line. The river's now giant and deep and this is where the white bass start that anchor ain't even catching it just keeps pulling in the gravel that yeah, caught that time goodness gracious no it keeps pulling yep just keeps sliding I had a nice small mouth there. Well, I see what Lou. It's a good sign they're at least biting. There we go. Oh, yeah. Man, oh. Big small mouth again. It's a brand new lure. That was a two pounder. Now we're probably scared of them. 
that was a two pounder twice folks I'm, I'm using a Berkeley flicker shad brand new out of the pack never been used and two fish have gotten off and I set the hook extra that time they keep getting off 20 feet from the canoe I don't know what the reason behind it these usually have good quality hooks on them but just some kind of weird fluke I guess going on here Look. All right, folks, I just got a state record, I think. The lure is <laughs> big and more bigger than he is. It's funny. Little spotted bass. My goodness. Hey, he was hungry, obviously. If I just had an aquarium, he would have been perfect. <clears throat> Three times I've had smallmouth that get off. Did you see it? God. I mean, that's that's something's going on with these hooks. These are usually really good hooks. Never had a problem out of them before. They usually hook the fish really well, especially the yellow. Something with better hooks. There we go. Oh, I think it's a white bass. No? It's a spotted bass. Finally, one that stayed on the hook. Look how fat it is. Real, real short and fat. Look. Weird looking. Oh, this spotted bass is like 10 inches, but he has the body of a two pounder. I've missed three smallmouth on this flicker shad. I don't know why starting to think the hooks ain't that great but they could not they might not be just taking it fully in their mouth too short striking it's what i always call that all right caught him on the silver and black or chrome and black flicker shad size number seven spotted bass Fishing for white bass, catching some spots and smallies. Yep. Well, folks, so far, not been a good day at all. A guy just alerted me down the river that it's dropped several inches today. So that may be part of it. Usually when the water's rising, they're more, they have a tendency to bite more or at least stable. But if it's been dropping, that can turn them off. So I don't know. I mean, I missed three smallmouth that all got off and I caught one spotted bass. But other than that, it has been slim pickings. Uh, so we're heading back up where we actually had the bites, right where the fall line's at. But down here where the river's uh, more sluggish and deep, we haven't gotten a single white bass today. I haven't even seen one. No fish are really jumping. We had seen one fish jump the entire day. You don't see turtles. You don't just see any activity at all. It's really odd. Uh, with it being 80 degrees and just, you know, one of the hottest days this year so far, you think they would be really active. Uh, you think you would at least see gar and buffalo and stuff flopping, but it's just dead. Some, something is causing them to be turned off, and I'm, my guess is it's the falling water. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the trees, there's about six inches of wet still at the bottoms of them, so... You can tell it has went down today. It's the Mississippi dropping. So uh, I've never really studied it enough to, to know all my ears if it turns them off or if it causes the white bass to leave. If it goes down or if they're just still here and just being stubborn, you just don't know. 
Oh yeah, giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do I got here, folks? It's big, 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 big strip and drag. This is like four or five pounds. Oh my God, it's a large mouth. Oh my God. Oh! What is the deal? <laughs> Oh my god, that thing was five pounds. All right, folks, I finally got a white bass. We've been fishing all day and they didn't start biting until now. Good job, honey. <laughs> folks, you would not believe the kind of day we had. I missed three smallmouth that all fell off. I missed a five pound largemouth out of an Ozark stream. That's considered a trophy bat largemouth. Been a horrible day. Everything's fell off. They wouldn't bite worms. They wouldn't. And I, I just sat in here talking to her earlier. I said, I don't understand it because white bass are here every year at this same time, regardless if the water's high or low. If it's low, they're smaller ones. Finally got a white bass which means we should fish this with worms maybe in this hole. Finally got a fish. Finally got the kind I'm after. It's not a giant. It's still a male, but it's a white bass. I'm so happy that we finally, it was a fair day. Really besides that large mouth, it was a horrible day. I caught him on the Berkeley Flicker Shad, silver and chrome, or chrome and black, with a little red dot. All right, finally, redemption at six in the evening. We've been fishing since noon with only one spotted bass that ever got boated. We had the three smallmouth fall off. Oh, and I had a sauger that bit my crankbait one foot from the canoe and then he fell off so that's the kind of day we've had it's been very stressful um we're working our way back to the car and finally guys beautiful white bass that's what i've been after all day all right Okay, honey, in the back pocket of the back the wrong kind, not a white bass. It is a real large mouth. He's just very tiny. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> very tiny, like seven, eight inches. Little bitty large mouth. Oh, a turtle? That's a sucker fish, isn't it? Bring it over here. I can. It looks like a sucker from here. It's got a mouth on the bottom. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's a shiner. That's a horny head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a horny head. Here, we'll show. Let's make it. Put that on the video. All right, folks. She just caught a fish with a dip net. It was just something to do before we headed out. It was in this real shallow spot, and I believe it's a. I, well, I call them stone rollers. Yeah, that's what that is. A central stone roller. That's pretty cool, honey. It's got bumps all over it, especially on their heads. They're kind of like a sucker fish. There's a central stone roller, guys. Just a little uh, creek minnow, basically. 
they make real this right here is what you want for a big walleye right here this is perfect this is what they use for walleye hun right here them guys that we met on the river they use them big five and six inch stone rollers he's making a real loud clacking sound yeah pretty cool guys I just thought I'd show you since it's been such a slow day Central Stone Roller.